Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Fairly recently, Lai Mohammed and the other top government officials have been going around the six geopolitical zone to see how they can lobby the governors into, you know, supporting the social media bill. Some few days ago, they went to the southeastern state, and a day after, Lai Mohammed came on board to announce that their visit to um, South East for the issue of social media regulation was supported hugely and that the journey was quite fruitful. Nigerians were troubled and they took a journey down to the Southwest. But shockingly, the answers we are getting from the Southwestern governors is uh, quite exciting. As uh, one of the governors, precisely the governor of Oyo State, came out to tell Nigerians that Southwest governors didn't back social media bill. And uh, a lot of thumbs up to them for doing just that. And he's have it that governor of Oyo State, Shehima Kinde, has clarified what he called the misrepresentation of the position of the Southwest leaders on the so called social media bill, saying that. Contrary to media reports, our position remained that since we already have an extensive Cyber Crime Act 2015, we don't need any other bill to regulate social media. The governor said this on Tuesday while inaugurating the Oyo State Judicial Panel of Inquiry into police brutality, violation of rights of citizens, and unlawful killings. McKinley said the panel is made up of 11 members led by Justice Bolajuku Adeniji, retired as chairman of the panel. Members of the panel are drawn from the legal community, the National Human Rights Commission, the Department of Police Prosecution, the National Youth Council of Nigeria, youth representatives of NSAS protesters, and the community. Members of the panel are drawn from the legal community, and uh, other department which has already been mentioned. This panel was constituted pursuant to section 2, subsection 1 of the Oyo State Commission of Inquiry Law Cap 32 of the Laws of Oyo State 2000, which empowers the governor to set up a commission of inquiry. However, as the scope is beyond Oyo State, we are collaborating with the federal government. The governor encouraged anyone who had faced human rights abuse in the hands of any of the security forces to use this opportunity to seek justice. He also said that stated he also said that those responsible for death of Isiaka Jimo, Ganiyu, Moshud Alabi, and Adioye Tayo or Taiwo will be brought to book. Makinde clarified the misrepresentation of the position of the Southwest leaders on the so-called social media bill. Contrary to the media report, our position remains that since we already have an extensive Cyber Crime Act 2015, we do not need any other bill to regulate social media. That was just the opposition and uh, Nigerians have uh, gone to the social media to react to this. All right, before we continue with um, looking at what Nigerians have to say, I, I just want to say something about this because this issue, the, the level of fanatism that is surrounding this issue of social media bill is really, really troubling. They, I, I feel that um, there's something more to this social media bill than just the prevention of fake news than the prevention of uh, spreading misinformation and all of that. Because if you look at this country, you will notice something that uh, there are more pressing needs, more pressing issues than this. But we seem not to have even one government official who is fanatical about it. For example, look at the level of corruption that most of the government officials are involved in. No one is pressing so hard for it. Look at the level of uh, insecurity that Nigerians are facing to a point that virtually all the key um, sociocultural groups in the north are calling on the presidency, calling on the current government to sack the service chief and bring in new hands 
there had been no positive response in that regard. But the issue of social media, people are falling headlong on this issue. And they are deserving. Right now, if you go to Twitter, you will notice that the number of Nigerians who are really getting involved in the spread of this information of social media bill regulation it's on the increase and i, I you know I, I it's a little bit very suspicious i tell you the whole truth it's suspicious nobody's talking about electoral bill you know nobody's talking about some things that have been left undone for example some one week ago um at the uh, dg Adi and june came up and brought up some matters of national importance that have been abandoned talked about number one that they had been a petition against bola akmik tinibu on the issue of money laundering which was submitted by his own um uh, cso civil society organization and up till now nothing has been done about it they submitted that uh, petition to efcc some four five months ago up till today nobody is handling it brought up another issue about uh, ojuzo kalu when something came up they said when they petitioned the case to supreme court level and they said that the judge was not you know uh, it wasn't within, within his jurisdiction for him to judge the case and all of that and he came out of prison efcc said they were going to still follow up with the case because the proofs and the weaknesses were still there and also there were fact and figures proving that he had embezzled also amount of money that issue has been buried Magu issue also came up and the case of Magu was the fact that uh, the report was going to be made public. Shehu Gaba came up and told Nigerians that the content of the report will be on, will be shocking to most Nigerians because they are going to be seeing so many names that they least expected. The report possibly has been submitted by Salami to um, the president. Nigerians have heard little or nothing about it. But one of the topmost priorities of this government when they came on board was the promise to Nigerians that the issue of corruption will be dealt with squarely. The question is, why are there no fanatics uh, concerning anti-corruption you know, uh, cases? Why are there no fanatics? Why are there no government uh, uh, people that are pushing it, going to all the six geopolitical zones to push it? But social media has been of greatest concern that it is what has been frustrating this government and all of this. The question is, you are talking about that it's been frustrating this government and it's been making this government not to do this or that. Let, let, let's look at some of the key things that we have seen. Some days ago, we saw a military man flogging a lady because of uh, indecent dressing, barbing someone's hair because he feels that possibly maybe he's the father of that guy. He has to barb his hair. It, well, it was brought to social media. We also saw a case where the local government chairman of a particular northern state was seen slapping his uh, uh, slapping a mechanic. We also we've had issues like that littered everywhere. All of these things were seen, abuses of a human right were seen because certain persons brought it to the limelight. Certain people brought it up. Does this mean that social media is so terrible that it is, it is not needful again? You know, these things are shocking. The northern guys have accepted it. Southeastern uh, states have also, I don't know about the south-south, but I tell you the whole truth, that at, as at this point, Nigerians need to look at things that are more important that will keep this com keep this country in sync with the promises that were made to the people of Nigeria. Promises were countless. They talked about, you know, that poverty will be reduced to the barest minimum, that about how many million youths will be taken out of poverty. What are the steps? Pressing steps. I'm not talking about to just throw a program on board and you just leave it bare and you go to bed and rest. If Lai Mohammed decides to pursue other issues the way he's pursuing this particular issue of uh, uh, social media regulation, they meet state government, meet all, all stakeholders involved the way they are pursuing. So many things would have been settled in, in this country stresslessly. But these are the things we are not experiencing. 
But here are people just waking up and running to and fro all the six to the political zone. You want to hit them to see how you can regulate social media. It's to gag the media so that things can things can be done and nobody hears hear it anyway and they will be the one self-praising self-congratulating themselves over things that they have not done well however i respect the opinion of the south uh, western um, governors for standing their ground not supporting it this guy uh, uh, governor she said if you're talking about this please count me out i can't give my support to that and it's a welcome development because it clearly shows that they understand things more than certain person i like to leave it there go to a comment section what do you think about the step taken by shay and rest